Most gracious Heavenly Father, how we thank you for your goodness and mercy. Each day is a special day that thou grant unto us, Father Lord. You even purposed it before the foundations of the world, like we should see this day. You who know everything, Father Lord, you know us inside out, Father Lord, you know you knew we would come here even to church this morning, Father Lord, even to praise and adore thy holy name. You know our desires, you know our troubles, you know what we would want even in our lives, Father Lord. And we know we are not serving a dead God, we serve a living God who answers all our prayers when he asks, Father Lord, even as he says in his word, Father Lord, that we should not forsake not the assembling of yourselves together so much more as you see the days of our approaching closer at the doors for the Lord. He also says, you answer it all the desires of our hearts as by your riches in glory. We thank you, Father Lord, for your goodness, for the many blessings in our lives, Father Lord, the health in our bodies, Father Lord. We can be able to wake up while others have not been able to wake up. You're not better than them, Father Lord but it is by your grace and mercy. Commit everything here in your hands, the worship, the praise, and the adoration may even be acceptable to thy sight, O Lord, as we come even with the sincerity of our spirits, knowing, Father Lord, you are more than able even to be with us, Father Lord. And may we be like those who came from a mouse who said, did not our hearts burn within us, even as he spoke and revealed himself unto us. Continue revealing yourself, Father, as we know, we are living in the closing days of time. We know, as the Bible says, people move to and fro, seeking for the truth, but they shall not find it. For the Lord, may we find your truth, even in the revealed word, even as per the Bible. Commit everything into your hands, praying and believing in the holy blessed name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Christ, we pray with you. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Maya is also saying, Amen. <laughs> I request we stand even as we read one scripture from the book of Luke 13, Luke 13, 29. Hope we raise our voices as we read that scripture, Luke 13, verse 29. Let us all read. They will come from the east and west and from the north and south and sit down in the kingdom of God. Amen. Let's repeat again. They will come from the east and west and from the north and south and sit down at the kingdom of God. Amen. We have come from different places to come and praise the Lord. They come from the east and west. They come from the lands of far.
Hallelujah, Trinity. We are marching to Zion. Beautiful, beautiful Zion. Come we.
Christ, that's why you can say we are children of the King. When the storms of life are raging, I know there's a place I can hide myself.
song uh, from Sister Shaina, and then we can go for it.
is what we're all trying to practice. Even sometimes we fall short. But Lord, let it be that we thraddle through this world with knowing that you are in full charge in everything that we do. Oh, Father, some here are waiting for that day. What a day that will be when our Savior we shall see. Oh, Lord, we cannot wait to look upon your face for you to say, good and faithful servant, welcome home. Let it be, oh Father, everyone that are here this morning who have burdens, who are sad, but yet, Lord, you arm them with the power and the strength to make it to this little place this morning. Let your grace be sufficient for them. Let your peace fill them. Let the joy of salvation be one with them, O oh God, this morning. Let it be that your love is all they need. There are some here who are confused for who you really are. It's because that they confuse of who they are. Once they understand that they are just a feeble human beings and have nothing good within us, that even if this body of ours fall into this ground, if no one picked it up, it will stay there and rot. Then we will know that we are nothing. Then when we understand that fully, then we know that God is everything. That the air that we breathe is His. The ground that we walk on is His. Even the pillow that we put our head to sleep at night is His. Nothing that we see, we, we say we possessed, belong to us. Oh, precious Jesus, let mankind understand that they are nothing so you can fulfill all that you need to accomplish in mankind. So many of us here wants to do right, but yet do not know how. But this little flocks, this handful of people, although we may be a few, but we are many. For we know this morning this place is full with angels. We know this morning this, full, this place is full if the Lord Jesus Christ can open our eyes here to see. Then we will see how big this place is. And the angels take place in our prayer and our thanksgiving and our soul. Even the preacher that meditated back there, Lord. The angels will assist them to speak. Oh, hallelujah. When he shall speak, Lord, it will not be him or man. But it will be Jesus Christ himself speaking. It will be Christ himself telling us what we need to do to make it to this place. The place that we shall see you. It will be him telling us what we've been, what we've been doing wrong. For we are wrongful people. We are dead and trespassing and sin. We are nothing at all. Oh Lord, have mercy upon us this morning. Fill our pastors, Lord, with your grace and your life and peace and understanding and wisdom. So they can lead us safely to this land. So when our eyelids are closed, we will open it the next second to be with him in heaven. Let it be every man's prayer. Whether they are here or on the airwaves, let it be this their prayer. When our time on this earth is finished, they will open their eyes and see their Savior. Father, Take your place here this morning. We pray in our Lord Jesus Christ's 
a house husband. In his gracious name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for the word of prayer. Our requests we stand as we sing this song as we become the minister. It is no secret what God can do.
I greet each and every one of you without taking much time in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The people in Houston, when I travel, greet each and every one of you. We are happy and glad to be back by His grace. And God willing, we're going to have a wonderful service today. But Patrick, getting ready, and after the prayer, after the preaching, there will be a prayer. I have a brother that came that said he needs prayer. And so will each one this prayer. So after the preaching, we're going to have prayer. So let's stay in service. Let's stay in the same accord. And as we welcome Brother Patrick, stay in spirit. May the Lord come down and just honor this gathering. Amen. Brother Patrick, why should I feel discouraged? 